Today's show brought to you in part by GoToMeeting. For a free 30-day trial, use code podcast at gotomeeting.com. It's a total eclipse of the park here on Trending RV. Once upon a time, I was falling in love. There it is. I'm Courtney Wallen. This is Trending RV. And of course, my very polite uh, partner in crime, Andy McCaskey, <laughs> who laughs at my Yeah, wow. Joke. It's just like uncovered talent here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was completely on key. Maybe, maybe idle next year. We'll see. Maybe. Um, but this is Trending RV, our show that covers all topics in the world of social media pertaining to RVing, travel outdoors, camping, and other things. Uh, so we're going to start off with Twitter. Of course, you can follow us on Twitter at RV Newsnet. This first story is uh, something I pulled from Lonely Planet. Now, Lonely Planet, uh, if you haven't checked them out, if you don't know who they are, you need to figure it out and follow them on Twitter. They're at Lonely Planet. But they recently had a Facebook road trip competition. So they had everyone, all of their thousands of followers, submit these great photos of their road trips. So they've come down to the the 20, the last 20, the final 20 that they've picked and said, okay, here's the 20 we're picking from here. They have someone who's kind of uh, out of it that is going not out. They're not literally out of it, but they are um, an unbiased person that's going to uh, select the winner. But uh, the person that's going to win is going to actually win a Nokia Lumia 800 smartphone. Pretty cool. So oh, yeah. uh, runner-up is still going to actually be awarded a Lonely Planet guide of their choice. So very cool prizes involved here. So some great photos. So a lot of these are overseas, but uh, just fantastic pictures. Of course, uh, this one here says when you're in Cambodia, this is pretty much how it is. A grueling 24-hour trip where every hour or so your van gets stuck. So this is something that you see a lot of is this van pushing. Um, but you've got New Zealand. Now, Andy, look at this one. How cool is this right here? The Dubai Desert Safari. Oh, wow. Yeah. With all of those vans there. Way cool. Uh, just some beautiful shots. And some of these, you don't really know where they're at. Actually, this one right here, it's a Volkswagen bus. So you can't see the actual vehicle, um, but it is a Volkswagen bus. Uh, there's a little motorcycle. You like that? I know you're a motorcycle oh, yeah. kind of guy. Um, and so, yeah, just some really, this is uh, uh, the Australian desert, the Red Desert in Australia. So just some really, really neat pictures, and I, I could only imagine how great all of them were. Uh, but Andy, this is the one in particular. Uh, that, do you see what I see? Do you see uh, what? It's a little uh, camper van there. It's a camper van, yeah, absolutely. Actually, I was, uh, uh, I, I had just uh, zoomed up on the, on the bike here. I uh, had to look, that was a, a British bike Royal Enfield. Uh, oh, you're checking look. out what it was. Yeah, just checking out what it, you what see, it was. You see, your bike guy. So you had to yeah. see what kind it was. Had to see. Had to see what was. Uh, had to see what was going on there. So here's uh, this one, really on top of the world in Utah. There. So you know all the different kind of vehicles that you take to travel and whatever it may be, but you're road tripping. You're out there exploring and taking these fantastic pictures. And um, they've got 20 of them, the final 20 um, at Lonely Planet. So we tweeted that out. They tweeted that out, and you can of course find it in the show notes as well. So I just really enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, and I also am seeing a little bit of uh, creativity that comes into that. Oh yeah. Pull that up. Uh, it looks like there's been some Instagram. Yep, or some I was gonna IM, say, uh, yeah. Uh, associated with a couple of these uh, yep, photographs. Some filters. Some beautiful, beautiful photographs that have been. Uh, uh, generated here. Good find. Good Th find thank there, you. Little Planet. Thank you. Uh, coming up next here on Facebook, of course, you can find us on facebook.com forward slash uh, RV Newsnet. Okay, so I love this blog in particular. It is uh, called Just Five More Minutes in Our Airstream. And whenever I hear that blog name, I can't help but just thinking, like, can, can we just play outside just five more minutes? And this is a great family that's out there uh, travel blogging and talking about their experiences. And um, she, Monica, the, the wife, is fantastic cook. I've featured some of her her recipes, and she just makes these really amazing meals on the road, and takes these incredible photographs. And oh, yeah. just it's it's just a really neat blog. Well, Andy, they took it they took it to the next level. They decided, and do not try this. Do not attempt it. It is all over this video. Do not attempt this, Andy. They decided that they were going to take their airstream surfing. So um, 
They're, they've got a Serpent Safari. Okay. For their Airstream. And this is kind of, again, do not attempt. This is kind of a tease into their next post. And if you watch their post, do you see this? They've, they're on the beach pulling their Airstream. Okay. And you've got the ocean just coming up. So they don't actually don't take it into the water. But uh, probably not recommended to do this just for the fact that you can get stuck or lots of other factors. Um, it could yeah, be a little I'm dangerous. Thinking salt water here. Salt water yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, but beautiful. Beautiful scenery. Though. Isn't that beautiful just to see the airstream behind there? But, you know, like I said, if you follow them, if you follow their blog or their Facebook or their Twitter, uh, I kind of had an idea that they had been camping out near some beautiful water um, from some of the pictures that they had shared. I didn't know they were surfing their airstream near some beautiful <laughs> water. So I just had to share this because I just think they do some really neat stuff. Well, maybe and, you, maybe we've got a Midwestern perspective here about vehicles and salt. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's maybe. possible to wash it off. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. But getting stuck and getting across the, the dry sand until you get to the wet sand. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, something you really want to think through. That could be the difficult part. So, uh, of course, that'll be in our show notes. And I'd encourage you to check out their blog. It's really, really interesting. They've got lots of neat stuff. And if you love to cook or just like to watch people cook really great things, uh, she's got some pictures up there. Uh, coming up next on Google+, Plus, of course, if you search for us on Google+, Plus, you can just uh, put in there RVNN. This is where my very clever tease came from. And by clever, I mean not so clever. Uh, the national parks are offering prime viewing for the May 20th solar eclipse. Now, Andy, this is, uh, North America has not had this in about 18 years, in the last 18 years of darkness. Um, this, it's been a while. So anyways, they've got lots of cool stuff, not only in this article um, about just the particulars, but what they're saying is that there are 33 national parks positioned for great views of wow. the eclipse. Um, and so they've named them there. They've got the uh, links that go straight to these parks. Um, and actually, I believe, let's see here, uh, in the last 18 years of darkness uh, in the sky before sunset, several days after the event on June 5th, the tiny silhouette of the planet's Venus will also cross and face the sun. And that only happens twice in a century. Mm. So you've mm -hmm. got May 20th, you've got June 5th, and uh, all these great national parks that have prime viewing for this event. So I'm actually really interested in possibly taking a road trip that weekend because <laughs> I think it would be way cool. I mean, they're kind of pointing out the really great stuff to do. Um, in addition to doing all this, there's also at the end of this post I thought was pretty neat. Um, in, in the spirit of celestial and interplanetary RVing destinations, um, they've got other places that are worthy of mention. So like Winslow, Arizona, um, and some national parks that if you're into that kind of thing. that they meteor showers and uh, yeah. all sorts of things. So I just thought this was a really neat post and I really wasn't all that aware of May 20th and what was going to be happening and kind of the big deal that it is and so uh check it out um this is from the examiner and uh uh, uh julian gothard gothard i don't want to mm -hmm. mispronounce it but he's got some great articles out there and i, I oh, just yeah. i really enjoyed this one so um check it out may 20th andy do you think that's something that you i mean y if it's if you've, are you interested? If you've been in an eclipse i feel like I was like in elementary. Uh, yes. Would yes. that be about right? Uh, that would be about right. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how far the totality path was, yeah. but it's a really a spooky kind of feeling. Yeah. yeah it's well I, worth it. Well they, worth it. They were, I remember them, don't look directly at it. It was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I was probably young enough where I was like, well, I'm going to look right at it. Like, na 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 na. Um, so I still have my eyesight, but I don't remember if I looked right at it. Yeah, I don't think you did. I probably didn't, know. <laughs> uh, coming up next on Pinterest, of course, Pinterest.com forward slash RVNN is where we're at. Now, Andy, I have to pat myself on the back because as soon as I pin this guy, you know how much fluff I fluff myself e exactly, when things get repinned, uh, right? Wow, this is a great one. It got repinned. Like, I pinned it, and literally I got an email, like, the next minute. It's like, it's been repinned. And then it was like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> uh, so this is a Volkswagen uh, camper van, but it's a tent. 
Yes. And if you, so if I click on here, if you know how Pinterest works, you can click on the picture. It'll take you to the actual source in which it came. This is, comes from uh, campus.com. Um, I will zoom in here because what it'll show you is the other side of this camper van tent. Uh, not only is it way cool, but uh, on the other side here, there's the door. <laughs> that is, yes, indeed. So it kind of gives four, an illusion. Uh, uh, four-man tent, yeah. So, you know, maybe we should recommend this to the guys on Expedition Mississippi. <laughs> you know, we really, we, we really should and because say, hey, guys. Uh, you're, you're bound to get uh, retro attention. Oh, yeah. Immediately, as soon as, you, uh, uh, it, it, as soon as you pitch this thing. So, you know, it's... Uh, it Plenty of room. It's way, it, without all these, uh, the uh, pole, you know, maybe you could get away with actually being a vehicle. I, I, Parked not, from far, not, far away, you might possibly <laughs> from far think away. It's, yeah, but the yeah. problem is uh, people are going to walk, want to walk over and look at it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so not much privacy when you have such a cool tent. But you know what? I think this would be really neat to have. So uh, that's something I pinned on Pinterest. It's actually on the trending RV board. Of course, all of our shows have their own board. So anything that I mention in this show will be on the trending RV board. Board. Uh, so that is all I have for today. And um, 380 euros. Which is, do the uh, math. I don't know. I don't know I what don't that know. is. Uh, <laughs> Someone do the math for us and shoot we'll, us an email. We'll do that real quickly here. I, oh, you're going to do it. See, Andy, there's an app for that. Yeah, right? probably. Or something. So, anyways, it, well, Andy's figuring that out. Maybe I could go back and sling, sing my song. That I started early in the show. $502. $502 for that tent. And 70 ah. cents. I'd have to know this. I don't know. It's got the cool factor. It's it got does, the cool factor. Yeah. And you haven't priced uh, uh, four-man tents recently. Well, that's what I was, Yeah, four-man yeah. tents, and typically we go with the brands that are a lot more pricey than $500. What a, for that, I would hope it would be durable. I suspect and it is. And not just beautiful. I suspect it's quite beautiful. <laughs> so, it is beautiful. Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, of course. So, anyways, that's our uh, Pinterest uh, portion of today's show. But no show would be complete without our 30 seconds of shameless plugging. Of course, you can find Trending RV and all of our other great shows here at RVNN on our Boxy app. So be sure to check us out in the channel store. The RVNN Daily comes out every single Friday. It's got great social media contributors with stories all over the place that'll come out in a few days here. Uh, of course, you can find us on Google+, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, and last but not least, be sure to check us out on Roku. Our channel is in the travel section. Be sure to subscribe, tell a friend, and give us a rating. We would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, that wraps it up for today's show. Of course, Trending RV is on every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, unless we don't feel like it. But that's what we aim for. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. So I hope I got a total eclipse of the heart stuck in your head for the next couple of days. And until then, we'll see you on Wednesday. Hey Gabe, wanna go for a walk? Gabe? 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 But are you lost? Hold on. If your pet is the adventuresome type, be sure he's connected to Pet Hub. A quick scan using any smartphone shares your pet's vital information so that even his wildest escapades have a happy ending. Pet Hub, reuniting pets with their families. Come on, Gabe, let's go home. <laughs>